Hi, I'm Paul Drew. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the audio and the buffer size on your Mac to get the most out of Scuff'em S-Gear. Let's get to it. You might find that when you load up S-Gear or another guitar amp application, that the feel of the amp isn't quite what you're used to. For instance, the note or the chord doesn't react as quick as when you played into your favorite valve amp. This is called latency, and there are a few tweaks that we can do inside of S-Gear to make it feel as good as when you're plugged direct into your favorite valve amp. If we click on the S gear menu next to the Apple icon and choose preferences, this is where we can set the buffer size and choose our audio device, which is the interface that your guitar is plugged into. First of all, let's make sure that you've chosen the correct interface. As you can see here on my screen, it says Universal Audio Thunderbolt. If I click on the drop down menu, I can choose one of the other interfaces that are currently plugged into my Mac. For instance, I could choose a different interface such as my Personas Quantum. Let's go back to my UA Apollo and let's have a look at sample rate. Now this should automatically switch to the sample rate set by your interface, but we need to make sure that the sample rate set in S gear matches your interface. I can see here that I've chosen 48 kilohertz, which does match my universal audio Apollo. Before we look at buffer size, let's just make sure our audio routing is correct. This is where we route the input and output signals. My guitar is plugged into input one as set here, and my outputs in my case are set to outputs one and two. Let's go back to audio device and have a look at the buffer size. This is where we can change the latency so we can have a more immediate reaction from our guitar through our interface into the computer and S gear back out to our monitors or headphones. If I click here, I can choose all these different buffer sizes. The lower the buffer size, the better the fill, although our computer will have to work harder. With most modern computers and interfaces, you can get the buffer size down very low, even to 32 samples. But as a recommendation, I would recommend getting the buffer size down to at least 128 or lower if your computer can handle it. I know my computer can handle 64 samples with ease, so I'm gonna choose that. If you hear any pops or clicks, just increase the buffer size until they are no more. As you can see here, I have a round trip latency of 10.1 milliseconds, which is great for me. So that's it, let's try it out. I'm Paul Drew, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.